All right, so here's uh, example two with the sum and difference rules. So we're given uh, f prime of x equals 2x squared minus 6, and we're also given dg dx equals 3 minus 4e to the x. And we're told to find f plus g, uh, parentheses, double primed. So what does that mean? Well, um, well, let's go ahead and just get started with this. So uh, f plus g double primed. Um, that's the same thing as f double primed plus g double primed, right? So, uh, you know, when we talked about the sum of difference rules, we only talked about it in terms of first derivatives, but uh, the same is true for pretty much any derivative. For, yeah, any derivative, uh, second, third, fourth, any higher order derivative. Um, you can split it up like this. So, uh, what is f double primed? Well, uh, that's the second derivative of f, right? And the second derivative is the derivative of the first derivative. So you can actually think of that as uh, f primed um, and then parentheses primed. So in other words, uh, derivative of the derivative. And then same thing with g double primed. You can think of that as g primed primed. So it's the derivative of the derivative. All right. <clears throat> so um, f primed is 2x squared minus 6. So let's go ahead and write this as 2x squared minus 6 primed. Um, and then plus uh, g primed. That's a, so g primed is the same thing as dg dx, right? That's just notation. So that's uh, 3 minus 4e to the x. So this is 3 minus 4 um, e to the x primed. Okay. So uh, this notation here, you know, putting parentheses around this and uh, writing prime, this is actually kind of informal, um, but you might see it somewhere along the line, so it's just uh, worth pointing out here. So let's uh, zoom in a little bit. Okay. So there's two different options. We can just do the derivative of this and then the derivative of that, <clears throat> or we could um, actually combine this into one big derivative uh, and then simplify a little more. But um, let's just go ahead and split everything up separately just to uh, show how the rule works. So um, this is going to equal, let's back up a little bit, this is going to equal uh, 2x squared primed minus uh, 6 primed, right, and then plus uh, 3 primed minus 4e to the x primed, okay. So this notation is kind of weird, but it might show up somewhere along the way, and uh, some people do like to use this kind of notation. So I just want to uh, show you just so that uh, you're at least familiar with it. So 2x squared primed, uh, primed, that just means derivative, right? So 2 is just a constant, so we can pull it out. So that's going to be 2, uh, let's get a different color here. That's going to be 2 times x squared, that thing primed. So remember, constants can just be pulled out of derivatives. Uh, 6 primed, the derivative of 6 is just 0, right? Derivative of any constant is zero. Um, same thing here, three is just a constant, so its derivative is zero. And then what's happening here? Um, four e to the x. Okay, so four is just a constant, so we can pull it out. Um, and then what do we have left? e to the x, and then derivative. Okay, so uh, then the last step, uh, almost last step, two times the derivative of x squared is just two x, right? So two x minus zero plus zero, that's nothing, and then uh, minus 4 times what? Uh, e to the x primed, uh, so that means a derivative of e to the x, but we know that the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x, so that's what we have here. Right? And then uh, let's get a third color. Um, so when we simplify, this is going to be 2 times 2x minus 4 e to the x, so that's actually just uh, 4x minus 4 e to the x. All right? So this type of notation is definitely not the most elegant way to do this, but um, you might see it somewhere along the line. So like I said, I just want to show you this um, just so that you, have, you at least have exposure to it. So um, what do we do? We were given the first derivative of f, the first derivative of g, and we had to find the second derivative of the sum f plus g. Okay? And we went about it like this here. Um, split it up into a sum of two second derivatives here. And then we noted that uh, the second derivative is just the derivative of the first derivative, and then we just proceeded from there. And we got 4x minus 4e to the x.